Hi guys, it's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha and Picky Icky Vicky coming at you live. We are in Nashville, Tennessee and sorry it's so late, but we've been having a great time this weekend. We had a conference that we came to. We got to fix our lighting. It's going in and out. We had a conference that we came to. Hey, Jamie. And we have learned so much. It has been phenomenal. Hey, Misty. So we wanted to share a little bit about what we have learned and um, how we can... Oh, it's this light. Y'all, we're just cut that trying... Off? Yeah, cut that off and we'll cut, cut this on. We're trying to get it so y'all can see us and not be distracted by our pale, crazy faces. Is that better? Hey, Katie. Hey, Judy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Shirley. So hopefully that's better. I think that's better. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey. So we wanted to share some things. Oh, hello, Catherine. You're beautiful, too. We wanted to share some things. And um, if you're like us, maybe there have been some times in your life that you had a little bit of a hard time being bold. You know, you're a little bit more bolder than I am. I would say less bold. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but whatever. So, when have you had a hard time being bold? Whether it was a job interview, or kind of sticking to the keto diet, or um, asking your boss for a raise, or telling your kids no, hey Sue, or um, telling anybody no, a friend, or whatever it is. Um, just kind of being in charge, being your own navigator in life. So we wanted to talk about that, and we had an amazing speaker where there's no way we can possibly do him justice in any way, shape, or form. He was really good, right? Very. Very. And his name was Brian Cristiano. Cristiano. If you have not heard of him, he is amazing. A great speaker. I would definitely recommend Googling him. We are going to try and share the information as we received it in a very condensed form. But wow. If you great ever have a story, chance. Too. Yes. His story. His story is phenomenal. phenomenal. So, you know, if you want to think sometimes, <laughs> oh, well, you know, they just had it easy. Hey, Mary. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Cindy. They just, they were lucky. They, they lucked out out this guy definitely didn't look out like he went from like boom blow up business what is he making like he he was like big dog right seven figures seven figures and then bottomed out to like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt and was sleeping on his own couch renting out his apartment house, yeah. his house to someone else it was just crazy hey debbie so um this guy had a story and now today like he consults uh j-lo you know, and we got to listen to this guy, right? So he was phenomenal. He is just super successful. He actually did a video when he was 16 years old about skating that made $40,000. Like, it's unbelievable. But then, hey, Carolyn. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, so it really is phenomenal to see someone. You know, you see speakers all the time. They're just super successful, and they got it all together, and they're millionaires, and it's great, and well, and fine, and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, okay, whatever. Hey, Stacy. So this guy, he was so real, like so genuine. And his name is Brian Cristiano. If you have not seen him, Google him. YouTube, check him out. Find the man. He is amazing. We are just not even able to hold a candle to this guy. But you might want to share this out because we're going to express to you what we kind of got. There you go, Pam. Listen up, girl. What we got from it. So, it's he said, it's not about avoiding failure, but the perspective to keep going. So that's pretty awesome to me because, you know, if we try to avoid failure, we're never going to be able to, to succeed or move on. But sometimes just changing something as simple as how you see something, you know, anything. So you're like, oh, I don't want to go on a diet. Um, well, we had your dad who did not want to go on a diet. And so we're like, don't worry about going on a diet. Here, just drink this, dad. You know, it's like. Oh, okay. And, you know, before he realized it, because his perspective was changed, like, he's going like, what? My dad, he, he had his own perspective. Oh, we love you to pieces, too, Carolyn. You're awesome. Hey, Carrie. Hey, James. He had his own perspective, like, I'm going to do keto my way. My daughter thinks she knows a lot about keto, but I'm going to do it my way. Hey, Christine. And so I'm like, okay, go ahead. And so he did his little research, and then he made full circle right back around to what I was telling him to do. And he's like, 
thank you. And so he had to change his perspective by doing his own research though. Hey Myra, hey Shannon, hey Ellen. And doing your own research and you're like, okay. So he evaluated everything. Hey Myra, he evaluated everything that he saw as far as what was in front of him. His wife, his daughter, daughter's best friend, daughter's best friend, everybody, every person that he came in contact with, what is this person doing? What is that person doing? And he was able to come to a decision by changing his perspective and keeping an open mind. So sometimes that's what's about. And the second thing that I've gotten here, hey Doreen, is you have to take care of you first. Hey Lisa. So first thing they tell you, her sister was a, a flight attendant, right? Mm -hmm. And so what's the first thing they tell you on a plane? Yep. If you're going down to if when the oxygen mask comes down, you have to take care of yourself first before you can help the person next to you. Absolutely. So you're not going to stick that mask. I'm not going to put it on Vicky, although I love Vicky to death. I'm not going to stick that mask on her. I'm going to stick it on myself first, and then I'm going to hang on to her, and I'm going to share it. But I have to take care of me first. So y'all drop a two below if any of you... Um, Oh, there you go, Myra. Tag some people, girl. Tag some people. Drop a two below. If any of you guys out there have been in a situation where you feel like you need to take care of someone else and it's taken away from you, I know I am going to drop my two because I have been in that situation. Aw, uh, hey, Ellen. Welcome. So, if you're new, send me a message and I'll try and get you all the new information on keto. And I always try to bring things back to my lifestyle. Keto is a huge part. Myra, yep, Myra's giving away more than she gets back. So, sometimes it's a matter of you've got to replenish yourself. You've got to get yourself and your mind good. Before I could help anyone, I had to learn keto myself. Hey, Edna. I had to learn how to do keto. I had to learn. No, I'm not home yet, Edna. We're still in Nashville. <laughs> so I had to learn all the stuff before I could help anyone else with keto. And it's a journey. Lisa, yep, Lisa's another one. So sometimes we learn the hard way. So if we try, Carolyn, if we try and help someone else and we're not even prepared, it's like riding horses. If you don't know how to ride a horse, you certainly don't need to be out there navigating someone else to ride a horse because more than likely you're both going to fall off. <laughs> um, I always take care of everyone else. I get picked on. Girl, stand up for yourself. That's what I got to say. You take care of you. Hey, Jane. All the time, every day. I know. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. And it takes boldness. Y'all going to have to get bold and get real and say, listen. I got to take care of me first. I love my best friend. I love my parents. I love my kids. We are, yep, Ellen, we are all natural caretakers. But let me tell you what, if you don't take care of you and make yourself a priority, no one else is. That is so important because for so many years, I put, it is hard, everyone else first, everyone else first, looking for their validation. And now I am just so happy to be able to be in such a good place that I can be more to these people. And that doesn't like, mean do more. It's like give, give, give. You finally run out of stuff to give. Yeah. You've got to replenish. Yes. And so how do we replenish? How do we get ourselves there? So what do we do? Vicki and I went on this, uh, and, and Lindell, we all went. Lindell, it, she is sleeping already, and we, we were really late. We're apologizing for the late one. My own family does try to take advantage. Yes, they do. The family does, and they don't mean to do it on purpose. So we have to fill our own cups. What does that mean? What does that look like to fill your own cup? Hey, Eleanor, to fill your own cup, Vicki and I and Lindell, we all came to this event. And boy, has it been amazing. Oh, it has filled our cup tremendously. It's given us inspiration. It's given us encouragement. It's given us a renewed view of things. It's new given ideas. us so much. Hey, Bethany, new ideas, new ways of thinking, new perspective. Hey, Anne. So when we said it's not about avoiding failure, but the persistence of keeping going, all right, and taking care of yourself, okay, and do what you would do. If you, you know, you're like, oh, I'll take care of me tomorrow. I'll get my nails done tomorrow. I'll get my hair done tomorrow. I'll get keto in my life tomorrow. Because, you know, I really don't have the money to, you know, to do keto. Because I got to get Joe's um, uniform. Or I got to um, go and pay um, um, Gloria's car payment. And, you know, y'all, 
You're welcome. It is very hurtful sometimes. And it does hurt us because we're putting other people first. You know, sometimes we need to let people stand on their own and figure it out. Because how many times drop a three below if you've had to just figure it out for yourself? Just saying, how many times, I got my three up, I've had to figure it out for myself. And how much stronger did that make you? So, actually, what you're doing is you're hurting yourself, hey, Bonnie, and you're hurting the people that you love. Um, yes, put it off all the time, put it off all the time, put it off all the time. And, Ruth, you are bold, girl. Um, hey, Renee. So, yes, y'all tag somebody, share this out. You can share it in any group that you want. This is really something that we want to share of ourselves because we've been filled. <clears throat> we've gained so much knowledge and so much information and so much inspiration that we want to share that with you guys and fill your cup up. And then the way you can fill someone else up without deplenishing your own is share this out. Tag a friend that you're thinking of that might burn themselves out thinking about other people. Um, so, I also want to go over this. So we talked about thinking bold. One of the first things that Brian said that struck me, you're welcome, Myra. One of the things that he said that struck me is what we hear so many times is, you can't do that. Hey, Jason. So, Vicki, have you ever heard that? You can't oh, do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, I can. You just watch me. <laughs> so when he was 16 years old, they said, a skate video. You can't do that. And he said, well, I bet you I can. And he did. And he sold it for $40,000. Um, I'll tell you another person that has all of that. He's always been this way. Ever since the day I remember. I'm going to tell you a little story. My Uncle Jamie. And he took his last flight in October of last year. But he was so persistent. Like, there was no stopping him. He was on it, ready to go. So, he had broken his leg. And they're like, yeah, you're stuck. You're not going nowhere. You can't go nowhere. You can't go nowhere, Jamie. You're stuck. You can't go nowhere. Hey, Joyce. So, you know what he did? What? He went and got that cast. And he got himself in the truck. I forget how he got himself in the truck. He somehow wheeled himself over to, to the truck. Got in the truck. Used his little crutch to change the gears and do the gas and all that and drove that truck and went where he wanted to go. So, you know, he just said, can't, can't is, is not in my vocabulary. And he was a, an amazing man and hugely successful because he always thought of how can I, not how can't I. So if you, you're the only thing that limits yourself from success. So I come across so many people that say, oh, I can't keto. Have you heard anyone say, I can't uh, do keto? Yeah. I, I've heard of a ton of reasons that they can't do a keto. And what I've discovered is most of them are excuses. So, you're giving yourself an excuse to not do something. Hey, Karen. So, don't buy into other people saying you can't because you absolutely can. And if you don't think you can do keto, you absolutely should send us a message. Me, Lindell, or Vicki, whoever you're in their little group. You send us a message. Now, if you've got another promoter, send them a message and tell them that you are ready. You are ready to change your life for real, for real with keto. And it's so simple. It is so, like that, that, that was easy. Staples button. <laughs> Y'all, it is so simple. Hey, Nanley, it's hard for me to open my mouth to them. You don't have to. You don't have to tell them a thing, Ellen. You just do you, okay? Because there comes a time in life you just have to do you. Um, people ask me for things all the time. And if I can, I do. But if I can't, that's okay. I've got to make myself a priority. Um, and, and I'm going to get my hair done. And I'm going to get my nails done. And I'm not going to give somebody my last $20. Or I'm not going to give someone my hair money. Or my nail money. Or my makeup money. Because that's my money. <laughs> or my ketone money. Now, ain't nobody getting... Which I don't even need ketone money now. Because I drink for free. So, that's pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright. So, um, commit to what you know is possible. And be all in. So, if you know... Like, if you've watched me and Vicki, y'all probably have seen our pictures posted today. So, does that make it possible that you could do keto? Because, y'all, my son even says, I am the worst, worst dieter in the world. If anybody in this world can fail doing a diet, it's me. He said, you're awful. Because I do cheat sometimes, y'all. 
I was so proud of myself today. <laughs> Let me tell you. All right. So y'all know I was a drug addict and alcoholic, right? I was sitting right in front of the bar. I could see all the alcohol over there. Not one of it bothered me. They could have laid out 25 shots on the table and I'd have been okay. But Lord help me Jesus. We was <laughs> we were at Longhorns. Longhorns. Now I had me a prime rib. Ooh, and y'all, just so if you don't know, Longhorns has this cheesy half a head of cauliflower thing going on, brand new. What? Oh gratin. Oh gratin. Yeah. And it's got this creamy cheese thing. Oh, it is so good. So we had that. I had my asparagus. We had broccoli. We had prime rib. All the fixings, right? So good. This little joker, we said, no bread, no bread. You know, my friends, I done told them, because we done went to this place two nights in a row, I done told them, I said, y'all, if y'all break and get some bread on this table, it's gone. I'm just here to tell you, that bread is just history. So this man, <laughs> this man walks by the table with this loaf of bread with a, with a knife sticking out of it, and I'm like, Lindell, if you wasn't in my way, <laughs> I would tackle him and hope the bread ran into the butter and just grab and run. <laughs> so I have zero willpower, but I still can keto, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, um, and I have some tools. Like, if you're having a hard time with keto, please message me, Vicki or Lindell, or if you wanna, there's another promoter who's tagged you in this, please message them and get with them. Bethany, you are amazing, girl. Um, so... The next thing is, stop waiting for permission, guys. Nobody out there is going to say, girl, Vicky, why don't you go ahead and go do, what did you hear when you was going to start keto? Which thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tell me all of them. I, I, I'm not sure. Like, what, 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 what did your people around you say? Like, you start um, eating keto and they're like, yeah, you can do it. Come on, right? No, they're like, no, it's not going to, it's not as easy as it seems. It's it's going to be a hard thing. You can't you possibly can't lose weight doing that. No. Yeah, yeah. So. Negative. We all negativity. You too, all negative. All negative. So. Good luck with that. Right, right. Yeah. It's a, yeah. I heard about the keto diet, y'all. Let me tell you. It's going to kill you. Well, I've already tried that. It's, right, it's, right. It's not doable. It's not sustainable. Not sustainable. Yes, yes. Uh, so we've heard quite a few things, and we are still rocking it. It is doable. It is sustainable. It is amazing. Hey, Jenny. So it is so easy. Like Bethany said, so easy. So it is absolutely. Did I have to fight off my little craving for the bread? Yes. But you know what? If I, if I didn't, I still... I'd still be okay because I just drink one of these and then I get right back in ketosis. But I don't, I am carb sensitive because, oh, you know, bread loves me so much. But, so I did resist the temptation and I was very proud because I'm learning, you know, that I need to put me first. If I ate that bread, I am not worried about putting me first, but you need to put you first. I met some pretty skinny ladies this weekend. So doable, right? Right, Bethany? I mean, I'm talking like, and it's like super skinny, super skinny, and yeah, I'm I'm looking to be there, looking to be there. Bethany's one of them. I was like, about to say, I'm pretty sure she was right. Skinny. Isn't it amazing? Like Bethany is her reboot pictures. Like every month we do a reboot, and I she's one of the people that I love to watch. Like she went from like you just see the pictures go shrink. And so it's wonderful, and it's sustainable, and it's doable, and you're successful in so many ways. You feel better. If you feel bad doing keto, please message me because there's a better way. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Pat. There is a better way. Um, so the other thing that is super important, and our family has really learned this, uh, we are not guaranteed tomorrow. So, um, unless you're staying less to Marsha with some amazing chocolate chip cookies, keto, of course. Yes, yes. I do have some amazing keto cookies. <laughs> Bethany, shout out to my son, Christopher, for making them. You're so welcome. We love you. Um, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So, um, the guy that told the story, Brian, he told us something really powerful about that. His dad had worked, I think, what, 30 years? 30 years in the military, they're reti they're, he was retiring and they're planning his retirement party. Um, and in planning that party, the actual, what was it? The He was supposed to go in Monday, the next day, to uh, fill out his last bit of paperwork. Um, and, and do his dream thing that he really wanted to do all his life, but he never got around to it because he wanted to finish up the thing everyone told him he was supposed to do. And he never made it in. He never made it in. He passed away. 
the and night before. it was the night before he was he was ready to take life on them but it was too late we're not guaranteed tomorrow doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter how overweight you are it doesn't matter how young you are it doesn't matter how many children you have none of that matters if you have a passion and a drive that you are just sick and tired of being sick and tired of your current situation and you're ready for change Please message me. Please message me. Please message Vicki. Please message Lindell. Please message Bethany. Please message whoever you're in contact with and let them know I'm ready. If you've been sitting on the fence waiting, wait no more. Tell them you're ready. I'm ready. If you'll help me along my journey, and we all will help you along your journey. You, we have daily chats. We have a huge support. We have an amazing group that is very supportive. And keto is meant to be shared. It's mm -hmm. meant to be done and 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 spread and and just amazing. It's definitely meant to be shared. So. Don't put it off for tomorrow. Don't say, I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't have this. All these excuses. We can work around anything. Anything. Like, we can show you how to do keto reasonably priced. We can show you how to do keto and get these wonderful little sachets for free. How many of you like free stuff? Amazon's not giving me nothing free. I love some free stuff. So, we got some free stuff this weekend, which is pretty cool. So, um... I, and it was a particular, I was like, you know what, this is not my favorite flavor, but it tastes so good because it's free. <laughs> so, organic veggies and grass-fed meat taste so much better. Yes, they do. And real butter is the bottom. So, what you'll find when you start doing keto, your taste buds actually wake up. Like, food tastes better. Drop a four below if you ever got into a place in your life where everything you put in your mouth tastes the same and nothing satisfied that hunger. I know I have. I've been like, let me try a Big Mac. Maybe that'll do it. Let me, let me. I've had so much sadness, not happy with weight. Absolutely. If you're sick and tired and you're tired and you're fed up, then you need to message me. I will help you on your journey. I'm ready. I just need help. I know tomorrow is not a guarantee. That's right. That's right. Don't put it off. Hey, Dolly. Vicki, she absolutely is here to help you. She wants to help you. See, you guys know. Drop in those fours. You know. Like, you have been there. Lorraine, hey, girl. Um, and so, we want to share this with you guys. We want you to be inspired. We want you to quit putting it off. We want you to make yourself a priority. Just, um, I remember back in my days of drinking and drugging and partying my bills were not paid but I promise you I still have my booze money I still have my cigarette money I still have my partying money so it's whatever you want to make a priority in your life and so you have to take that serious like what are you really willing to do and really willing to change so um, the other thing that you're not bold it the reason you're not bold is because you just don't know enough how many of you, drop me a five if you know like nothing about keto. Nothing. Like there are some of you out there that are like, keto, what is that? Like you might have heard about it a little bit here and there, but you're uninformed. So find out more about it. Um, we've got workshops available. We've got resources available. We'll tell you about drinking the water. And y'all, I'm even slipping. I even sli I'm even drinking the Diet Coke, but it'll be all right. Might be rubbing off on you there, huh? Right? She's, <laughs> she's so bad. And I do got a stevia in there. What? All right. So, um, the other thing is, if you don't change, what happens if you don't change, guys? If you don't change, what are we guaranteed to do? <laughs> Fail. Fail. So, um... Absolutely, if you don't change a thing, you're going to continue to fail. You're going to continue to feel miserable. You're gonna... Whenever I ordered my packet, and I was like, okay, I've done keto for a month, and I totally failed. Um, you found me in your research, Myra. Aw, you... I'm the lucky one. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> so, the, you only fail when you quit trying. And Melissa, you definitely aren't failing, girl. You are on it. You are doing amazing. So, what we want to do is we want to be open to change. You guys open to change? Vicki is always open. When I approach Vicki, she's like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We got this. And when I talk to uh, my girl about getting started out on, on drinking these uh, drinks, I, um, I was like, 
I said, if it tastes good and it works, I'm all in. And then I paid the money and then I waited and I thought, ooh, what have I done? I hope I ain't getting scammed again on something else. But then I thought to myself, I said, self, <laughs> self, you done, you done seen like, I don't know, at least a hundred people that you've seen that went from this to this. Like you're seeing the pictures, you, you're seeing the pictures. So, um, I said, well, I'm gonna give it a shot. I, I'm gonna give it a shot. So if you want to just give it a shot and give it a try after day four, I was like, bling, I'm all in. It works for me. Um, take a risk. My mom, she was the biggest one. Um, she had diabetes, high blood pressure. She was on a CPAP machine, has COPD. Um, she had breathing machine. I mean, she was running an oxygen cord from one end of the house to the other. And the only thing she did was sit on the couch or sit at the chair at her desk. And I thought, Ooh, I'm going to be burying my mom soon. And that thing just hit me. Like, I I just hate it. And she knew the shape that she was in. She she knew the shape that she was in. My dad was still fighting it. Like, I am going to do this. And he was about to kill himself. Because he could no longer work at capacity that he was in. My dad's a workhorse. Like, he would outwork any 20-year-old out there. Like, massive. But I was doing caulking of a shower with him. And, it, and he couldn't even do that. He, he couldn't breathe. He couldn't move. He couldn't do anything. It was just... It, and he would get angry because he was so limited. Aw, thank you, Bethany. Oh, hold on. I got to show y'all. I got I got my green on. <laughs> She's quite the little leprechaun. I am. So, uh, my dad and my mom were in bad shape. And my dad, you know, you couldn't tell him anything. But my mom, my mom, she said, I got to give it a try. And she had to kind of fight my dad a little bit. And he's like, what are you doing? She said... Well, medicine is expensive, and I don't like feeling the way I'm feeling, so I'm going to try it. I'm watching her. It's working. She's feeling good. She ain't as moody as she was. Um, she got her house clean over there, so things are going pretty good. So I'm going to see what she's doing. I'm going to follow her. So, you know, sometimes we got to be the example, right? Oh, Bethany, I think it's the Zumba. <laughs> Okay, so. Or not. Or not. <sighs> My legs are killing me. Y'all, I did Zumba this weekend. And, you know, I really didn't do it willingly. Did you? Mm -mm. But we did it. We did it. We Zumba. I was we were like, too packed in there. Woo! And, but I, we did it. We, I, well, I don't know if you would call. We got through it. Right. <laughs> I don't know if you call what I did Zumba in. Because I was like, oh. y'all, it was rough. It was rough. But I was through it. All right, so. This guy went through all these little steps of certain, his personal things, and, and we're going to skip through that. Um, but basically what he's saying is, you know, what you need is a strategy. What you need is a plan. What you need is something that you can be able to focus in on and say, okay, so where do I want to get? How do I want to get there? What do I want to do? Am I worth setting these goals for? And my answer is always yes. So anybody who's listened to, to me speak before, I talk about setting goals and not just setting the goal. Like you can set a goal, like I want to graduate high school, but how are you going to graduate high school? Okay, well, I'm going to make the attendance requirement. I'm going to make the grades. I'm going to go to class every day. I'm going to do my homework every day. I'm going to study for my test. So that's how you make a goal a reality. You have to have the step there. How am I going to make that happen? Write those down, put them on your fridge, have them there every day. So, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to um, feel better. I'm going to be able to go be specific and... specific. Yes. How much weight. And right. Buy when what size and... pants you want. Yeah. Buy when. I want to be able to play with my grandchildren. I want to be able to, um, to run a 5K. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can set as goals. Hey, Christine. So, you want to set those goals and, and have them in play. Um, so... And have a plan to reach them. Yes, have a plan to reach them. Um, the other thing I wanted to cover is um, evaluate what you're doing. What are you doing? How can you change it? And where do you want to be? So maybe some of you are sitting out there and you want a little extra income. If you want that, I can offer you an opportunity that absolutely can help you do that. 
Vicki can offer you an opportunity that absolutely can help you do that. And it will change your life. We went to this event this weekend and we really experienced something a little bit different than the norm. These people who are over our team just went all in. Like they went total in and they poured themselves into us. And they said, look, you can do this. You are able, to, because we did it. And we didn't start out with a silver spoon in our mouth. And we started out with a bunch of debt. And we started out owing all this money out and, and being where we're at in our lives and unhappy and needing to come up with $300 in rent and needing to, to figure it out. And what they did is all of us invested in ourselves and said, you know what? We want something better. We want something that works. We have a product that's amazing, that's changing lives. You guys can see me and Vicki clearly have done some magnificent changes. I mean, y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. I'm collarbones, just, just so you know, right? <laughs> I got like some some bone structure going on here, you know? I do a little contouring, but you can't contour that much, okay? Y'all know that. So, I not only feel good, I'm making money, I'm making friends, I'm helping other people do the same thing. Hey, Beverly. So, if, if you are not open to learning about something that could help your life financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, if you just wanna dig in and enrich your life, great, I'm here to help you. Y'all send us one of us a message. But if you don't, if you're not on that page, but you know someone, you're like, hmm, well, I know Susie over here. Susie's always looking for a little something that she could do, and she's pretty good at stuff, but all Marsha and Vicki are doing is talking to people. It's doable. It's, it's duplicatable. You guys can do exactly what we do. We're nothing special. We're just sharing our story. We're sharing our experience. So let's give you an experience. So tag a friend. Send this a messenger to someone. Share it to a page. Um, there's always somebody. So right now, if you've been, if you if you're sitting here watching us. It might be your call to change. It might be your time. It might be the time in your life you have to say, you know what? I've been doing this. I've done Jenny Craig. I've done what, y'all, I could have eaten Jenny Craig for breakfast. And I looked like I ate her for breakfast. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I've done the Weight Watchers. I've done the gastric bypass. Lost 200 pounds and gained 100 of it back. Hey, Joe. And so now I'm in a position, well, I did that. And it was supposed to be a per. I said, I've got to get the gastric bypass. I have a permanent problem. I need a permanent solution. Highly disappointed in the fact that it was not a permanent solution because I even failed a gastric bypass. I mean, they literally re-engineered my body and said, okay, we're gonna fix you this way so you can't eat so much food and this joker here learned to eat around it. But this, I don't have to do that. So if you are that somebody and you're waiting for change and you've been miserable and you have struggled and it has been so hard to do the thing, to do, to count the calories, to be low fat, Atkins, um, what is it, XYZ? <laughs> Herbalife. Herbalife, uh, all that stuff. I mean, if it's been overcomplicated, Y'all, this is so, so simple. Like, it is the simplest thing. We will get you educated. We will get you up to speed. We will help equip you to completely be a success. If you have failed at keto so far, because you're just out there Googling everything you can and trying to find something, hey, Diana, and you just can't figure out where to start, which end is up, and, and you've watched me, but... You know, you really don't know where to go. Then we have resources for you. Now, throwing us a, a message and just saying, fix it all by, by message and tell me how to keto in three sentences or less is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This is a process. And you have to, hey, Jennifer, you have to be ready for the process. You have to be ready to be um, in this lifestyle. It does it's require change. One day change. at a time. Yes. You just got to go one day at a time. Absolutely. And you know what? You're not going to do it perfect the first day. You're not going to do it perfect the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week. I've done this for s over six months now. And at six months, you know, I figured out those little sachets of Splenda, 
And this is six months. It took me six months to figure out those little sachets have two grams of carbohydrates in them. Y'all, I was like, I've been doing this for six months and I'm just now realizing this and I was using like, I don't know, four or six of them a day and then wondering why I wasn't in ketosis. And this was when I was doing it the first month and failed. But just, just that alone will, you know, throw you out there. So you have to be informed. You have to know how to do it. You have to know what to kind of look for. You have to know the products to use. You have to know what products are available. You have to know which ones to stay away from. You have to know which ones are just, you, you can go to Walmart and you can see a bunch of display stuff that says keto and it ain't no more keto than this curtain behind me. It is ridiculous. It makes me enraged. But we have a daily group support that says, hey, can I get this? And it's got like 28 grams of sugar alcohol in it. No, skip. So, you know, there's so much you can do and it's so easy. Um, Diana, I'm not sure. Oh, yes, yes. Diana just heard the Splenda thing. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It took me six months to learn that, but there are two grams in the little sachets of Splenda and Zevia. And so the only, the best solution is get yourself some liquid Zevia or liquid Splenda and problem solved. So, or at least you know now what you're getting into. If you're drinking uh, a ton of unsweet tea and a ton of coffee and all of that, and that's what you got in there, <clears throat> big mistake. Huge. So I hope y'all learned something tonight. If you're new to keto and you're ready for change in your life, please message us. I hope maybe even if it's not related to keto, if something in here inspired you to be bold, to take charge of your life, to quit letting everything else run your life and, and just make you just cower away in, in failure, there is hope. You just have to be bold. You just have to set yourself some goals. You have to make yourself a priority. You have to say enough is enough. Here's where I draw the line. I'm ready to take care of me. If you're ready to take care of you, me, send Vicki a message. Send me a message. Send Lindell a message. Send Bethany a message. Send anyone a message that has been here today. Lorraine, anyone who's been here today that you already know that's connected with keto, um, then please send them a message. Um, if you send me a message and, and I know it needs to go to them. I'll just tell you who you need to go to, and that's absolutely fine. But no matter how you do it, we want you to start. So every day is a new day. Hey, Donnie, and every day is amazing that you can just start. And it doesn't have to be every morning. You could start right now, like right now, and say, I'm going to make a change in my life right now. Are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to have better? Are you ready to feel better? Are you ready to look better? Are you ready to make yourself a priority? Y'all, I'm sorry, but I like getting my nails done. I think they look real pretty. You like my nails? I like your nails. I like my nails. So I'm going to go, and yep, we like our nails. So we're going to go, and we're going to spend that money on ourselves. And look, y'all, y'all see how loose this ring is? This is my aha moment non -scale for the Non-scale victory. A non-scale victory. This is what this is called. Never in my life, I know y'all have all heard about that. Never have I ever. I'm here to tell you. Never, ever, have I ever worn a size six ring. Yep, I said size six, boys and girls. This is a size six. You see how loose this is? A size six. That's a six, guys and gals. A six. It's almost, it is, it's actually too big for me. It's a size six. Look. A six. Pretty with my nails, and I'm loving it. Um... Now, have I met where I want to be? I can't even imagine what my rings are going to be. Like, when I get to my goal weight of, like, 165, like, am I even going to have fingers left? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. All right. So, I don't want tiny little bones. But I got kind of pretty hands, especially with a size 6. The smallest my hands have ever been was a 7. And I was just like, mm, I'm getting that 7 on there. That was <laughs> after that gastric bypass. Right? That was after my gastric bypass. I'm getting that 7 on there, y'all. But this is a six, and it is just as loose as a goose. Loose as a goose, because I was sitting here, and, and, and I remember that, like, hey. Those are the things that give me such stupid joy, but they do. They make me happy. The fact that I was struggling with the Zumba, but I still just kind of, I kind of tried a little bit. It, Zumba's not my thing. But you know what? I was, after, you know, doing the Zumba, I was like, oh, the legs hurt, y'all. And I was like, oh. Did y'all see? I just I just folded my legs up and put them like in my lap. Did y'all see that? Because I don't know how that happened. That was pretty cool. 
So it's the little things, just the tiny things. All right, what's been some of your little non-scale victories? You got any off Mine? the top? Mine? Yes. I don't know about off the top of my head. My rings have gotten bigger. Yes. I have this thumb ring now. <laughs> the thumb ring. <laughs> I had to switch mine. My thumb was, I had to switch it because yeah. my thumb, you know, it was too big on my thumb. Um, smaller necklace. Smaller necklace. How about shoe size? Your shoe size change? It has, actually. Yes. Yeah. So, isn't that funny? Your, sh your feet get smaller. How do your feet shrink? All right. So, the other thing we want to talk about is um, uh, fat girl syndrome. So, y'all, you don't even see. So, we're checking out at Target because we did a little shopping. And I had to take a picture. I said, y'all know the little thing, you know, the little camera that watches you. The video like, camera. The video camera. At the self-checkout. At the self-checkout. And, you know, before I look at that thing, like, Lord have mercy. I hope nobody's seeing me on this camera because that's a big girl. That thing definitely put 10 pounds on me, right? So tonight I looked up and I was checking out. I was like, ooh, who is that? Look at that girl. She looks good. And Vicky, I looked at Vicky. I was like, you see this? Who is that? That's that's pretty cool. This so, really happened. It really like, happened. Real. <laughs> and I for real took a picture of the thing. I was like, I'm going to take a picture of me. But different things like I, we're in the hotel room and I'm walking past the mirror. I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so, you know, you, you have this thing in your head that you're a fat girl. You're a fat girl. Hey, Renee. But then as you get the progress with keto, it literally, the difference in doing keto and any other diet I've ever done it can be 30 pounds and then you just, you look so much more. It just goes because it's burning fat. So y'all seen them big blobs of fat. It's burning that fat away. So you're losing inches. You may not see the pounds move yet, but you will see the inches. Like it's been phenomenal. Hey Doris. Hey Gracie. So when you start looking past mirrors and be like, now am I where I want to be? Absolutely not. But I am like, like, I don't hate seeing a picture of myself. I'm like, Hey, holla, look at me. I'm looking pretty good. So we were doing pictures today, looking through all these pictures, and we we're like, oh, I didn't know it was that fat girl. <laughs> oh, like, I knew. I knew I was. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, whoo, and look at that hair. Like, totally. And you know how someone said, girl, take care of yourself. You letting yourself go. Quit letting yourself go. And it doesn't mean that you got to be like, straighten up and quit eating a ho-ho. Because let me tell y'all what, we eat some keto goodies this weekend. We had keto donuts, brownies, brownies, chocolate chip cookies, tortillas, um, oh, bagels. We had bagel breakfast sandwich. There was so much goodness, like, in this room. Like, we were not hungry a bit. Hey, Terry. So... You can eat keto and so not be hungry and be super sad. Those little chocolate zero bars. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I'm going to get my sweets on. I'm going to get, I'm going to get me some good stuff. I'm going to have my little cheese and my, my meat roll-ups. And there's, I had tuna in there. I was going to make tuna salad because I had boiled eggs. I had tuna. I didn't buy the mayonnaise, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I do have some leftover prime rib. I think I might tear a little bit of that up tonight. But it doesn't mean you eat endless amounts of food, but you're just not as hungry as you used to be. Um, used to be, I had a hunger machine that would never quit. So, um, you know what? I'm, I bet I'm a little hungry today because I Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Zumba. It's the Zumba. <laughs> Zumba, y'all. I swear I never Zumba before in my life. I'm doing good to walk to the mailbox. I'll just flat out tell you, I'm lazy. I'm just <laughs> I'm just lazy. So, my friend Lindell, she works out and she loves it. She goes to the gym. Do you go to the gym? No. Yeah. <laughs> I do like to go walking, though. She likes to go walking. Not me. She's like, you want to go walking? And I'm like, no. That only <laughs> happened one time. <laughs> no, she actually asked me multiple times. I like, asked. It only happened one time. I was time. like, is she going to quit asking me to go for a walk or what? And she's like, come on. And so finally this day I agreed. And I thought, oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. What have I done? And it ain't but like a mile and a half. and Right? Or, well, no, normally we it's do three. three. Oh, but it's just, I was doing the small yeah, track we, with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're lazy like me, drop a six. Because I have so... <laughs> I was like, girl, we're going uphill this way, too. <laughs> It was bad. It was bad. She's like, you can do it. Come on. And I'm like, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I tried to promise her it was only uphill one way. For 
It was bad. It was so bad. So bad. So, if you hate walking like me, get you some ketones. Hey, Sherry. Um, I guess that's it, right? Have we shared mm -hmm. all of our wisdom? Let's see. So. Think bold. Uh oh. I'll have to do that one on the next one. <laughs> So that's all we're going to share, but I want y'all to see, like, if you've not been on experience, I want y'all to know just in two, this is just two days. And the other thing I want to say, two, two days of notes, just two days of notes, all this right here. All right. So that's just two days. Cause I'm, I honestly have to tell you after two days, I was so tired and I had learned so much information. I'm kind of old too, right? You know, so I hope none of my team has their feelings hurt or was offended that we didn't show up, but I just, I couldn't do no more because I had to learn and retain what I had and, and, and put it to use. And that's what I'm doing here with you guys today. We're putting it to use. We're sharing what we've learned with you guys. We've been taking it all in and, and learning how to make our businesses stronger, our lives stronger, be empowered and share that empowerment with you guys. Because no matter what you're doing in life, no matter what your experience is, whether you're unhappy with your job or you're unhappy with your, your relationship situation or you're unhappy with your physical situation. And you don't even have to be overweight for that. It, it could be as a matter of you, you just feel run down or you've got brain fog, or you just don't have energy, any of those things, you know, there are ways to go ahead and, and, and start. Everything starts right here. Everything starts right here. Hey, Wendy. So once you kind of get things on point and you say, okay, I'm going to start with a better mindset. What do I want? Where do I want to be? And sometimes you just need to be involved in some positive groups. If you need to be involved in a positive group, Please comment below, group, and one of us will be glad to add you to our group. Um, and and we'll just we'll just love on you and help you to grow and develop as a human because we want lots of productive humans out there. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Hey, Carolyn. So if y'all have questions or you want to be empowered or you want to be bold or you want to make some changes in your life, just message us, reach out to us because we'd be happy to help you. Um, if you like what you've seen on our pages, obviously you must have because you're here in front of us now and you're watching us. So hopefully some of this has helped you to make your decision to don't put things off for tomorrow. Do it now. Just do it. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Don't wait. Because we didn't wait. And there's people that in, in our lives that waited and they're like, man, if I'd only known. I, you know, I could have got on board earlier. So even if you if you're in our immediate lives and you're like our local people and you've been waiting, don't wait. Don't put it off because we love you and we will help you every step of the way. Whether you're online or you're in person, oh y'all are so sweet. Don't all those hearts. They love us. Y'all are wonderful. Y'all have a good night. Over and out from good Keto night. Gammy and Picky Icky Vicky. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you. We're heading back. To South Carolina from Tennessee, all the prayers that y'all can muster up for us for a safe trip. Lindell's flying back to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania tomorrow. We'll be traveling on the road tomorrow, so we have a long trip. So lots of prayers and lots of love. Y'all have a great night. Over and out.